nature is pretty much taken for granted now. We're so focused on technology and everyday life, we kind of ignore the natural world, I feel, sometimes. And it's nice to kind of sit and absorb our surroundings and look at beautiful things like this and appreciate them sometimes. Quite a lot of specimens I've seen like, can be like, taken from around this area, so it's kind of more an understanding of where I live, which is quite good. And the fact that I'm kind of drawing and understanding more about it through kind of looking at it is really helpful. <laughs> Like these, these are beautiful things and if I can copy them, more people are going to look at them and think how beautiful they are as well, hopefully. Yeah. So the natural world's important because you need to know about the things around you and so that you can like look after them. I think there's um, a lot more in terms of accessibility in a drawing than often in a photo. So if you've got a drawing of something that maybe is quite bizarre or frightening to some people, a drawing can help bridge the gap between you know, the raw truth and um, what you actually might be missing out on. Potentially art is more successful in communicating. So if we could take something from that and apply it into science or merge them and use the tools that we can get from art as a communication tool, for scientific purposes, that would be really, really good. I'd definitely like to see a lot more, but basically encouraging different disciplines to draw because there's evidence suggests it actually can enhance all sorts of other skills, not just social, but communication. Today's been really fun, actually. We learnt how to line a print, which is good. We got taught all the techniques, which is interesting. And I learnt something about bugs.